So I decided to try and make a game, but there's a twist. I'm trash. So yeah, let's start. So what's the first thing we do when we start a game? Do we want to A, make a character that has basic movement functions? B, develop a general idea of what the game's going to be? Or C, actually just plan something that's going to be worthwhile? Well, I choose D. Follow a YouTube tutorial that shows you how to create a complex time map that is completely unimportant for the future of the game. So yeah, here it is, this completely useless time map. I mean, at least I can say I'm pretty proud of it. Now, it's time to create a character. Oh yeah, looking good. Totally first try. Okay, so we've created the character, now let's create an enemy. And look at that, creative design at its finest. A red cube. Now let's make it chase me. Oh, and just to let you know, I spent like a day trying to make this AI like advanced. So stupid. And here we go, it's moving. Perfect. Uh, Bruh. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now it should move fine and it should stop just before touching me and it also retreats if I get too close. Now let's add a gun for a weapon. Because, you know, why not? One Bracky's tutorial later and look at that. First try. Let's get this uh, bullet going and um, that looks like exactly what I wanted. Perfect. Second try is the charm, and okay, uh, third attempt, and oh yes, no way it's working actually. Fourth attempt, and look at that, oh, that is so good. So now let's create some killing ventures, so the enemy can kill the player, and the player can kill the enemy. So a couple hours later, and yes, let's go. Now let's copy and paste the code, and it works. And there you go, there's my game. That's literally it. It took me like five days to make that. And I want to stretch this whole series out to like 10 episodes like Netflix. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.